Hey everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a recent favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in, gosh, forever, and I have a lot of favorites to share with you. I'm gonna try to run through them pretty quickly so it doesn't take too long, but um, we're gonna cover everything from beauty and a few skincare favorites to some accessories to my favorite handbags. So just to give you guys an idea of what's been going on with me lately, I have actually been traveling a lot in the last couple of months. I've done two weekend trips. One was a Deer Valley ski trip with some girlfriends. Um, one was a um, Palm Springs birthday weekend with another set of girlfriends. And my most recent trip was a trip to Okinawa, Japan and to uh, Seoul, Korea with uh, my boyfriend at the moment. That trip did not go quite as planned. I have the worst luck on boy-girl trips. Uh, we did go skiing in Korea, and this time I got injured and fractured my pelvis. So uh, last couple weeks I've been hobbling around, but I am recovering pretty well. I am obviously back to filming. So I, if you guys wanna hear that story, let me know, but I don't have good luck. I have the worst luck. Anyway, let's jump into my favorites because I don't want this to be too long. But uh, we'll get started with my favorite skincare product of the moment. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of traveling, and when I travel, my skin gets extra dry. I am 48 years old, and I have normal to dry skin anyway, but when, gosh, I'm on an airplane for a long time, or I'm in um, extra cold climates, like ski type of climates, then my skin just gets extra dry. And I've been loving, loving, loving the IT Cosmetics um, confidence in a cream. This stuff is very rich, very emollient, and it just does wonders for my dry skin. Uh, when I was on my most recent trip from, I flew from Los Angeles to, um, to Tokyo, two hours in my skin just felt like it was drying up. So I went in the bathroom, took off all my makeup, and slathered this on my face, took a nap. When I got to Tokyo, I was able to, you know, re-put on my makeup, and my skin felt nice. I have been, um, I am to the bottom of the full size cream. I've already gone through a whole little travel size cream. But if you have skin like mine, and especially in the dry winter months, you need a little extra moisture, the stuff is beautiful. Another, I guess it's not skincare or, or beauty product, but it's one I have to mention because if my trips have all been with other people, girlfriends or a boyfriend, um, this stuff is a lifesaver. And we're talking about Poopery. Yes, this stuff is not just a joke. It's not just that funny commercial that you see before you watch YouTube videos where you can't stop laughing. This stuff is a lifesaver. If you're sharing a bathroom, um, I like the vanilla lavender scent. I bought this at Ulta. And if you spray before you go, no one will ever know. And um, trust me, this stuff, yeah, it, it, it's a must. It's a must. Um, my, I have two favorite foundations that I've been wearing pretty much constantly the last few months. The first one is a rediscovery for me. It's the C, uh, It Cosmetics CC Plus um, SPF 50. You guys have heard a lot about this stuff. It really is a good product. Um, when I go skiing, I, I do put SPF underneath, but I add this on top, and I just have gotten, I haven't gotten any kind of sunburn. Um, it's really, really good, especially if I know that I'm going to be out in the sun um, all day. So this has been a great, a great product for me for the last couple of months. My go-to foundation lately, though, is the Tarte Rainforest Under the Sea um, Water Foundation. I love this stuff. My skin, like I said, is kind of dry to normal, and uh, this leaves my skin feeling hydrated. It has beautiful coverage. I'm, I'm not, the only thing I'm not crazy about is this dropper kind of situation that you've got going on here. But uh, I, I usually just put it on with a brush and then go over it with the beauty blender because if I go straight in with the beauty blender, it does tend to soak up a lot of the, the product. But beautiful coverage. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm wearing the night light medium neutral, but really, really, really love this foundation. And this is my second bottle of this. This is a little lighter than my other one because I you know, don't have as much sun. The powder that I'm loving lately is one that was recommended by Tati. She's probably one of my favorite um, beauty gurus. Uh, she mentioned the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. And I, um, like I said, I'm a bit mature and I've got a lot of dry, crepey stuff going on under my under eyes. And I've tried so many different powders that are high-end that just leave that area looking more dry, more 
worse than they started. And she recommended this. I'm like, it's a drugstore, I'll pick it up. And I absolutely love this. I set my whole face with it now. And um, I'm actually on my second one of these. Um, I'm in the color 115 Classic Beige. And I do have a lighter one that I set under my eyes. But if you haven't tried this, pick it up. It's not expensive and you might fall in love with it like I have. Um, another product that I tried earlier, probably around December, I think Sephora had a $20 off coupon around Christmas time and I thought, well, I'm going to try this. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit pal little palette. I'm sorry, I'm filming in front of a, a window today to try to get good light. Um, the light keeps shifting on me, so I'm sorry about that. But when I first got this, I opened it up and swatched it and I thought, this, eh, I'm sending this back. But I'm glad I kept it. I'm glad I tried it because I really do love it. Um, this color here, and I, I can't see, so I don't really know. Let me see if I can read it. Um, the Surreal Light, this one here, when I'm done with my makeup, I'll brush it on my forehead, tops of my cheeks, down my nose. It gives a beautiful, very, very natural glow. I don't find it to be glittery at all. It's one of their ambient lighting patterns, so it's not really meant to be a highlighter. Um, but it's beautiful, matches my skin tone really nicely. Um, you've got two blushes here. I like this one the better of the two. Um, it's one I'm wearing today. And it's just a really pretty natural blush. The bronzer in this is not very bronzy. <laughs> it's actually kind of peachy to me. And what I do is I take this little, I've got this little kabuki brush right here. And it seems to fit into all the colors really well. And I just kind of mix them all together like this and then just, you know, go over and touch up my cheeks. Um, it gives, again, not glittery, um, just a very beautiful finish. And then um, you've got this color down here, that, which is one of more of their, let's see, what does that say? It's a strobe powder and surreal strobe light. And if you want a little bit more of a highlight, then that one is beautiful. So I've been loving this palette. It's easy to travel with, and um, I've been using it a lot, and I got, I've gotten a lot of compliments on my skin when I wear this. Um, eyeshadow palettes, guys, um, if you haven't tried this one, it's a new one from Tarte. It's called their Man Eater Palette. Um, I saw this, oh, did I see this on a video? I don't remember. But you guys, look at the colors in this palette. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today. Um, it's a great little palette from Tarte. I and, and all these are limited edition, but um, the colors in this are beautiful. Um, I use this one a lot and the only thing I will say about this is, is there is a bit of a kickback to it or a fallout So I just tap I usually put a little piece of uh, tissue on my vanity and just tap excess off of there But they blend beautifully. They have great pigment and again I couldn't pick a little palette with more perfect colors for me. So you might want to check out that one my next one is my little palette that I got from Etsy. I've done a video on these palettes. Um, the company's called Another Soul. But this is my, oh, fell out again. This is my palette that I use almost every single day. All of these eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek. Um, I've hit pan on a couple of them. Again, um, I love this palette because I can fit in 19, um, well, that's 19, 8, 9, yeah, 18 of my favorite shades. And, um, love Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I love this little palette. It's so handy to go. It fits in anything and yes, very much I'm loving my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and this little Another Soul palette. Um, I'll link the video that I did on these palettes below and leave a link to the Etsy shop if you want to check them out. Um, just a couple more makeup products guys. Um, I have absolutely been loving the, Ma the Tarte Man Eater uh, Mascara. I am wearing it on my lashes today. Um, it really does a beautiful job of lengthening and separating. It's got this great wand here. I don't know if you guys can see that if I'll focus, but lots of little tiny bristles. So it really does lengthen and separate really well. Um, it, let's see. Oh, one other thing I had to mention for you guys is another favorite. And this has been a favorite for a year. Um, I saw this on Brianna Stanko's um, video. She recommends this. I bought this a year ago and I'm still on the same tube. It's Revita Lash and it has changed my lashes. I get compliments on my lashes a lot. Um, I don't wear false lashes because I feel like when I have them on that I'm just trying too hard. With my job, I'm a real estate agent. Um, I just, 
I feel like I'm trying too hard whenever I wear false lashes. But when I wear, but I use this, I use this all, sometimes daily, sometimes every couple of days, whenever I remember, and it really has changed my lashes. So I'll leave a link to where you can get this below. It's a lash serum. Um, it doesn't irritate my eyes, and I love this stuff. Lastly, guys, I've got a couple lip products. Lately, my lips have been all about moisture. I just need moisture in my lips. From traveling, from going skiing, from going in the sun, my lips are just chapped all the time. And one product that is new that I've really been loving is this balm from Revlon. It's called Revlon Kiss. Um, there are different shades, there, but they're, I think they're all pretty nude, but I like just the, the, the basic coconut, tropical coconut one. It's SPF 20, so it really does help for when you're out in the sun. But I put this on before I go to bed at night, even right now while I'm laying in bed with my all my pillows trying to cushion my, my poor pelvis. But um, I love this stuff. Go check it out. Um, it's, it's drugstore, but it's a beautiful balm. And I wake up in the morning, my lips still feel moisturized. Um, during the day, I've been all, all about, again, moisturizing products on my lips because I've, everything's been so dry. Um, I am loving this new lip liner from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Color Sensation Shaping Lip Liner. Um, I've got the color 115 Totally Toffee. It goes with all of my nudie kind of lip colors. And this stuff is super creamy. It goes on beautifully. If you guys haven't tried this, um, it's got the, you know, the twist up pencil. Go get this from Maybelline. Um, I said, I think this was another recommendation from Tati, but I love this stuff. Love, love, love this stuff. My favorite lip liner right now. And my favorite lip gloss, which I am wearing today, is the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, this is in the color Praline. It's kind of a, uh, a brownie kind of nude. Um, love it. I put it on my lips. They feel beautifully moisturized. And so highly recommend that. All right, guys, those are my beauty favorites of the moment. Ones I've been using so much in the last few months. Um, let me go quickly and talk to you about a few of my favorite accessories. Um, one thing I want to share with you, first of all, is this necklace. I've worn it in a couple videos. Um, it's a beautiful lariat necklace. It's from Kendra Scott. Um, it's called the Sloan Lariat, and I've worn it, like I said, in a few videos, and I always get compliments on it. Let me see if I can stand up so you guys can see a little bit more. You can wear it lots of different ways. I kind of like to wear it like this where you've got the choker and down, but you can, you can wear it so many different ways. Um, absolutely love this necklace and get compliments on it every time I wear it. Another favorite for me <laughs> recently is um, a new pair of Uggs that I got. I am so late to the Ugg game. I've never had a pair of Uggs until um, probably right before I went on my first ski trip in, in January. I always thought they were boxy and kind of ugly. <laughs> I just never really liked them. But this is a new style from Ugg. Um, let's see, it is called the Amy Slim Classic Slim. And they're a little bit more narrow at the toe. Um, they've got a little bit more of a wedge heel. They're not so boxy. Um, they fit beautifully. Actually, um, I was reading the um, reviews on, I think, Nord Nordstrom or something, and they said that they do run a little small, so I did go half a size up in these. But I wore them um, to Park City, and it was cold in Park City. It was probably five degrees. Keep my feet so warm, so snug. I wore them on my recent trip, um, when after I got injured, they really gave my foot a lot of support. And um, I've been wearing these even since I got home because I need something low heeled, something with lots of support, and these are just so comfortable. So if you've been holding off on mugs for a long time, you might wanna try the new style. Um, I actually got, ended up buying mine on, um, on eBay because I was able to get a good deal, but I really love these boots. All right, guys, another accessory that I've been just absolutely loving lately is my, my makeup bag. I did a video on this in the past. Uh, everything's falling out. Sorry. Ah! This is the Sephora Weekender makeup bag, and I have been using it on all of my trips. It looks like this. Um, I'll link the video on I did below, but it is such a great makeup bag. It's got this pouch up here that says makeup, and I'm usually able to put all my travel makeup in here. It's got a section for your brushes. Mine has very well been used. Um, it's got a place up here for jewelry. I usually, I mean, I put, sometimes I put jewelry, sometimes I'll just put other things in here. And then it's got a toiletry section here at the bottom. Um, again, it, I've used this 
on all my recent trips and it has just been the best makeup bag. I'll put a link to Sephora for this makeup bag, but if you're looking for one, this one is fabulous. All right, guys, um, oh, we're getting close. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think we'll keep this under 20 minutes. But let me show you um, a couple accessories that I've been just really liking. The first one is a pair of sunglasses. Again, I've been traveling and doing more sporty kind of stuff, and these have been awesome. I, these are from Ray-Ban. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but they're kind of the blue mirrored lenses. Um, I've been wearing, I wore these skiing, I wore these hiking. Um, I have more designer kind of pairs, but when I'm doing more sporty things, um, these have been awesome and um, I like the way they look. They're a little bit, they kind of got the blue reflective lenses and they're full up so nice and slim. They really do fit in even my, my smallest bags. So if I can find a link to these Ray-Bans, I definitely will. They're my favorite sunglasses of the moment. Another favorite accessory that I've been using a lot lately is my um, 2009 stamp mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. Um, I use this in all of my bags. I use it, you know, it's just a great little travel piece. Um, I love the limited edition version that I was able to pick up. Um, I like the burgundy, but I use this mainly for my lip products. Um, I also, you know, was able to put my headphones and a few other things in this when I was traveling, but I've used it, I kind of went through a time where I was, wasn't using it so much, but lately it's just been a staple piece in all of my bags. And um, I absolutely love this little piece. Let's see, oh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is this little journal, this little passport, um, passport size traveler's notebook. I started watching videos on these. I was looking for a passport holder, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a designer one. And I ended up coming across these. This is one I actually made myself. Um, it's leather, it's got this little thing that says, enjoy the journey. But I used this on my travels. Um, I kept my passport here at the back. Um, but I also made a couple little notebooks and I, I, the only thing I wish I would have added was a little pen holder, but I did buy this little pen on Amazon. I'll put a link to this. I know sometimes people are looking for a little, little tiny pen to add, you know, to put in their agendas or whatever, but I had a pocket on both sides, you know, to, to be able to slide my passport in, made a couple little notebooks and in these notebooks, I've been using it since, even though I don't need my passport to jot down, you know, notes about, you know, my injury and appointments and, you know, videos that I want to do. And I think even though I don't really need it for my passport all the time, I will be using this, um, you know, to write notes. Um, I have a little calendar insert here. So I've just been enjoying using um, this little traveler's notebook. Um, if you guys want to see how I made it, um, I'll actually link a video that some, a video that I watched on somebody how to make it. Um, right now in my current situation, um, I probably can't show you how I made this, but maybe in the future if you're interested. But this is something I've absolutely been loving um, and I've been using a lot. I keep it right by my bed and just jot down notes and things that you know I'm thinking of. So anyway, love this. Almost done, guys. I have two handbags that I have been using nonstop for the last two months. The first one is, you guys probably guessed it, is my Louis Vuitton uh, twice in the emprunt leather in the color noir. Um, this was the one I took on my recent trip. I put this bag inside of my bigger coach tote that I showed you guys in in, um, in the last video. But, you know, it fits my small wallet. It fits, you know, my, it fits, you know, my, my passport journal. It fits my mini pochette. It fits my sunglasses. It's nice and slim. It goes with everything. Um, I can't talk enough about this bag. Um, it's really been one that I use all the time. And my other one is quite similar, um, and it's probably my most recent purchase. This is one I got around Christmas time, and it is my Louis Vuitton um, Pichette Matisse in the monogram canvas. I haven't talked a whole lot about this on my channel. If you guys would like to see a video on my thoughts on both of these, um, I know there are some comparisons out there. I think both of them are unique to themselves. I wouldn't want two of these, and I wouldn't want two of these, but I think together they they really cover every need that I have. So these are the bags that I've been loving lately. I'm on crutches right now, and when I um, am hobbling around, these are very easy to sling over crossbody. It just makes it so much easier. And uh, yes, so I think we made it in the 20 minute mark. 
Guys, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. I know I've gotten a few new, uh, new subscribers lately, and um, I just wanna say how much I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna to try to do quite a few new more videos. I've been jotting down some ideas. I am gonna be pretty much immobile <laughs> for the next few weeks, so I should have more time to, to film, and I'm excited to put a little bit more effort into my channel. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will be back soon with a very exciting video. I'm really one I'm really excited to share with you guys. So anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.